welcome back today we will be unboxing the beauty boxes that I get every month uh, this is for the month of July I've got four and I will have the list the price of the boxes listed down below as well as the individual prices now there's only one box I have deluxe sample sizes in and that's my alert box I will not be putting the sample size price but the full price but I will try to let you know which ones they are if I can recognize them because sometimes I can't but anyways let's go ahead and get into these boxes first one of course is the alert box okay so the alert box does have a pamphlet which I appreciate it does have a list of the prices and a brief description I'm not going to go too much into the descriptions because I'm going through four boxes. I don't want this to be too lengthy, um, but we are going to go ahead and get right into it. The first thing we've got here is all Hinsker. I can't pronounce it. I guess it's German. I don't know. I really can't tell. But anyways, it's Banana Bright Eye Cream right here. And this retails for $44. So right here, you've got more than the price of the box making it totally worth it. I do use my eye creams pretty religiously, so I'm always excited to get another one. Um, this is what this one looks like. I am currently using one, so I'm not opening this because I don't want the products to go bad. I don't open them unless I'm going to use them. The next thing we got is our Acaderma, Acaderma, I think that's right. For the full size is 30 milliliter, which retails for $68. This is 0.27 fluid ounces, so this is a sample size, but definitely still a high-end product. Um, I like my serums. I use my serums quite a bit. Let's see what the container looks like. Okay, so this, this is a good travel size serum. Not that I'm traveling anywhere anytime soon, but I'm going to keep it because, you know, sometimes you do and sometimes you want your fancy skincare when you travel and you don't want the big bottle. So that's why I keep the small sample ones. Okay, so the next thing I have is Neogen Probiotic Youth Repair Cream. This is a sample, or oh, wait. Yeah, this is a sample size. This is an anti-wrinkle and early age dermatologist tested. Eight grams right here. The full size is 50 grams and it retails for $48. So still another pricey product and definitely something I'm going to use. Okay, so this is not something I would normally use. This is Actually, it is. I'm not going to lie. It is something I would use. This is from Pound Cake Red Velvet Cake Batter, and this retails for 20, yeah, $26. This is a full-size product, but this is not something I'm going to use because I have a lot of red lip colors, and I don't use half of them, so I am going to pass this along. I think I'm going to put this into my next large giveaway, which I don't really have a time frame for yet, but... I am going to do at some point. Okay, so the next thing I got is, um, yeah, another name I can't pronounce. I think it's Sha, 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 I don't know. Anyways, it's after hair, after sun. Um, I, I guess you use it like a mask for your hair if you've been out in the sun for a long time. I don't really have a problem with my hair after being out in the sun for a long time, but I have a friend who does, so I'm probably going to give this to her. Um, this does retail for $37, and I think this is a pretty generous size as well. So, all right, the last thing in this box is Boima, Boima Creamy Jelly Cleanser. Um, this is a sample size. The sample size is one point. 0.01 fluid ounces or 30 milliliter. The full size is 5.91 ounces or 10 milliliters and that retails for $11.99 which is a pretty good price for a cleanser. So yep. All right we are moving into the next box. The next box is Ice Cream Beauty. 
This is a makeup heavy box and an indie brand box, which I enjoy. They um, they have they normally have really nice palettes in it, so I'm I am really very excited to see what I got. Uh, they, they seem to have a lot of duochromes in, in their boxes, which I'm thrilled about. I haven't really done a video on it, and if you're waiting for me to do a tutorial with some of those duochromes, I absolutely do plan on doing it. I just haven't done it yet, so know that it is eventually coming. I just don't have a time frame for that yet either, because apparently I have a life and it's chaotic. But, you know, we're going to work through that together, I hope. Speaking of multi-chromes, the first thing I got in this is the Lanchi Multi-Chrome Eyeshadow Palette. And this retails for $25. It only has four colors in it though, so, you know, dual chromes in general are more expensive. So, I don't really expect to see that to be cheaper than that for, for any dual chrome palette. But, these are the colors. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these because I'm definitely going to use them. I just, I love duochrome and to be honest with me, with you, a lot of shimmers and stuff don't necessarily do great on my eyelids and it has nothing to do with the formula, it has everything to do with my body chemistry, but I still try and I just adore. Okay. I think you guys are probably going to love these duochromes as much as I do. Look at that gorgeousness. See if I can get it pick up better for you. There you go. Now you can see it. Look at that. Those are really, really pretty. I had no problem swatching them. No chunkiness, no nothing. Just really beautiful, creamy, duochrome colors. Okay, so the next thing we got is Ethereal Palette by Oakland Cosmetics, and it retails for $19. Um, let me see. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Ugh. I mean, look at that. It's super pretty. Like, I don't know that these colors are unique to my collection. Um, because I, they really don't look unique because the majority of these are browns. I really do have a lot of palettes with similar colors and, but like, it's so pretty. I really want to keep it. I think I am going to stick this into the next giveaway though because, um, this girl already has too many palettes so I think I'm going to share. This is so pretty. Okay, next we have more duochrome. This is Liquid Duochrome Eyeshadow by Kianto or Kian, I don't know, Beauty. And it, um, these two together retail for $38. I do like these Liquid Duochromes because they dry kind of like paint and so they don't really move much. And again, liquid products don't necessarily do well on me for whatever reason, I don't really know. But stuff that dries and stays put usually does better on my eyelids. Um, this shade right here is... I don't see a name. But anyways, um, this is the first color if you can see it. And this is the second color. Again, you can't really see it too much in the reflection. Um, you can see that they're slightly different. One is lighter, one is darker. I'm going to swatch them so we can see what they look like on the skin. Okay, so they're kind of sheer, which not necessarily what I expected, but I mean you can easily top them on top of other eyeshadow, or you can wear them by yourself, by themselves if you just want a sheer, clear look and just a hint of color. I do like them though, it's just, I wasn't really expecting it to be that sure but anyways they are pretty okay so the next thing we got is I ice cream highlighter by Queen Studios that is this right here and this retails for $18 I do use a lot of cream products um, I switch back and forth I like my powder and I like my cream I like the dewy look of um, cream products but I also like the finished matte look of the powder. I go back and forth. I mix them up. I enjoy the different textured looks. I, I just think they're pretty. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at this. Now this is a good color. Um, this is actually really good for my skin. You can see um, I have very fair skin, so I really enjoy a nice fair color. Let's go ahead and 
see what this highlight looks on my skin. Okay, there you can see the highlight on my hand right there. It goes very well with my fair skin. So yeah, I'll probably get some use out of that. I don't leave it on my skin that harsh. I do blend the edges because uh, if you don't, it kind of looks just, it doesn't look like you really took it your time and really applied your makeup very well, honestly. So just blend it out a little bit if you put it on so it looks a little bit more purposeful. Okay, the last item in this is some lip color from Ofra Cosmetics. It's Hot Mess Mama. And this retails for $20. I'm not taking it out because you can see the color right there. And I am not going to keep it because I do have a lot of shades that color. This is a nice pretty color though. I think it's kind of more on the rose colors. I hope some of those rose colored lipsticks come back because a lot of them are really pretty and I haven't seen a lot of them recently so I do hope to see more. Alright, the next box is Kinder Beauty Box. They yeah, kind of covered that up. Um, oh well. But um, this one's, this particular box boasts about being more natural which to me is a wonderful thing and I do enjoy. Um, they do usually have a card like this inside. I think this is the one. Um, well, I guess, um, well, usually they have the prices listed on a card. I guess they're not doing that anymore and I'm a little bit disappointed. But that's okay, we're gonna keep going. I will have the prices listed on the screen when I edit this video, so. First thing we got here is nose patch pore and oil control. Um, not something I would normally use um, because my skin tends to be more on the drier side or um, combination. Excuse me, combination. So not necessarily something I would use. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just pass this along into the next large giveaway as well. Alright, the next thing we got is a makeup brush. This is Detail Setting. So I'm not really sure if this is a setting brush or what, but you know what? It doesn't really matter because I use the brushes however I please. And this is a nice soft brush, so I'm happy about that. So you can see the details up close. You can see the brush. It's a very nice brush. You see it is very fluffy just like I said. Alright, the next thing we got here is Acid Drops from One Kind. This is Overnight Resurfacing Serum. Brightens, clarifies, and retextures. I'm going to try it. Um, sometimes resurfacing products are really hard, harsh on my skin because my skin is sensitive. But I do try it because honestly resurfacing products are great. Especially if you you're breaking out or your skin's kind of off for whatever reason. It helps get rid of the dead skin cells and all of that stuff and just makes your skin look more alive and, and, and youthful. So I'm going to give it a try. Next thing we got is Daily Slip On Exfoliator. This is a self tanning remover. I don't use self tanners at all. Um, you would think I would because I'm so white and I don't really tan, I burn. But I just, I don't like them. I think they're messy. I haven't used one that I didn't think was messy. And um, I'm okay with the fact that, you know, I just don't tan it. It's fine. You know, we are who we are, right? So I'm going to pass that along in to the next giveaway it up as well. It is from Daily Concepts. So there you go. Last thing in this is some hand cream from Shikaya and it is mango. It has beta glucans and oat protein. Um, yeah, that, that actually sounds really, really good. I'm probably gonna use this, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and smell it and fill it and all that stuff because I'm really big about my lotions. If you wanna keep your skin from aging quickly, Make sure you're hydrated, like drink lots of water and use lotion or body oil or both. And it will help keep your skin from aging as quickly. Okay, so this mango scent is not overpowering. 
it's a very light ma mango scent. So like if you're not huge into mango mangoes and the way it smells, this probably will not be that much of a problem for you because it's not super strong. And it's very faint, it's very lightweight and hydrating. So I would say it's a win. Okay, so we are moving into the last box and it's Boxy Charm by Ipsy and I still don't like it. But we are still going to unbox it and look at all of the loveliness inside. They also do not provide the card, which is really annoying. I mean, they get this like big pamphlet of stuff and you still can't list the prices. So, I mean, honestly, I don't really ever read these. I don't know if anyone does. If you do, please let me know, know down below if you actually read these because I don't. All right, I kind of feel like I struck gold in this box. Um, I will say this, I don't really like what has happened. Like, you know, BoxyCharm used to have their flash sales or um, whatever they called it, I forget what they called it, um, pop-up shops and stuff like that. And then Ipsy would have their shop and the prices were usually pretty competitive and you could get them super low ever since they're combined. Do they still offer lower prices? Yes, they do. Do they offer it as low when, as when they were competing? No, they don't. And I don't like that because the competition made it better for those of us who really watched our money. Even though it's still a deal, I can't, I can't get as much. I can't splurge as much because it's just now a whole different budget. So that is that. Now that I've said my piece, Let's go ahead and see what I got in this box. Again, I feel like this box I kind of struck gold on in a lot of ways. Not just because this one says 24 karat gold. I know, that was cheesy. But anyways, this is from Ahava. This is 24 karat gold mineral mud mask. Um, I think I picked this one, I don't remember. But anyways, I like my masks, which, which is exactly why I wanted this one and I'm really excited about trying this. Then I got my daily dose of vitamin A, B, C, D, balance and detox. Um, this is a Korean serum and this is from Skin Inc. I really like Korean beauty products. I really like their skincare. They, and I'm not just saying this to pump it up, but they really do have some of the best skincare. I do like their makeup. Um, the ones that I have tried, even though it's more on the natural side, I still like it. I just, you know, the eyeshadow I would like more pigmented, but that's just my particular taste. But they usually have really good makeup too. Anyways, so this is the serum. Don't know much about it. Um, let's pull it out of the box just to really look at the bottle because it is kind of cool looking. I'm not, I, you can't deny it. Look at this. But it is a glass, no, maybe it's not glass. No, it is glass. You got the dropper, so yeah. I'm excited to try this. All right, so the next thing we got is a tea time um, English breakfast tea. This is a essence, like a toner kind of thing. It's not a toner, it's an essence, but. So this is a moisturizing product. This is kind of interesting. I think this is going to be really nice. This isn't, yeah, but this is an essence. And you can see it's got all these colors in it. Very nice. This is plastic, um, but I don't know what all is in I know tea has a lot of beneficial properties for your skin um, when applying it directly. This kind of does look like milk. I don't know if it is or not. Um, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of really excited to try this and see how it does on my skin because I have high expectations, I know I have very high expectations for that. Alright, the next thing we got is Lucky Chick Lip and Cheek Multi Stick. This is another thing that um, I definitely like. So like I said, I, I kind of switch back and forth between cream and powder products a lot. They, they just look different in certain things. I, I don't know. I just enjoy the difference, you know, the different looks. So here is the container. And the color is Lucky Days. And this is what it looks like. You can't really see it on the top of that, but it is kind of swirled all 
can see it kind of here. You can see the multicolors there. This is the color swatched. Um, I like it because it's not like a super red and it's not super pink. It's somewhere in between. And I do like that. Like if you blend it out, you can see. Very nice pinky red natural look. I do like it. All right, the last thing in this box and then all the boxes that I have unboxed is an eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. It's Fez Palette, and this is not one I have, so I am happy to have it. It looks like one of the colors is loose, so um, that is what the palette looks like. I am going to open it up. I'm gonna, yeah, something's wrong with that. I'm gonna take a picture of it, send it to Ipsy. They've always been really good about like replacing things or whatever when I have issues like this so I am going to contact them and let them know that my palette is messed up but I am going to swatch these so you can see what they look like on look at that that is super gorgeous super pigmented Natasha Denona has beautiful palettes and this is just another one as far as I'm concerned I really look forward to using that and that is it um, if you have any questions or thoughts please tell me down below if you would like to see any reviews on anything please let me know that as well um, I again I do plan on doing some tutorials with the duo chromes I just haven't had a chance to do it I'm trying to get through everything I got going on like I said my life is crazy right now I'm trying to get it together so hope you stick around Anyways, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you would like more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video.